today I have another video for you all. This is not going to be a tutorial. Your tutorial. This is not going to be your typical makeup tutorial. This is going to be a Halloween look. For those of you who know, I do work at Sephora and during the week of Halloween every day we have a different look. So I'm kind of just doing a trial run of a couple different looks for those days so I'm not in the morning trying to figure out what to do. I did Scar from The Lion King because on what day? On the 30th, the day before Halloween, we have a famous villain look to do so I want to try to do Scar. And this I got, I was taping up different tutorials because I didn't want to do like the full on face paint because I can't do that for the life of me. So I kind of wanted to just do like a simple version. Um, you can do like the black nose but I just want to skip that part. This I got from Charisma Star. If you guys watch her on YouTube, she does amazing tutorials and she did a look on Scar and I basically just did what she did and then used like my own different colors because I didn't have exactly what she had. But I like how this came out. Like a little line here. I don't know if it'll zoom, but Charisma Star, I'll link her channel down below. She does amazing tutorials and I really liked how this one turned out. So yeah, if you want to see how to achieve this look, if you're thinking about doing Scar for Halloween or you just want to see how it's done, um, it's pretty fun with all the different colors. So if you want to see how it's done, then keep on watching. So I put some tape on and then I'm priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. taking my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil and I'm using that any color perversion and I'm just going to line my upper lash line. So this part is going to be a little tricky. Um, I just line it on the side like I'm doing a wing liner. And then I'm kind of just pulling it over on the brow bone just to create like a cat eye look, like a chunky look, because that is where I'm going to put the purple color in that scar has. Then I'm lining my lower lash line, and as you can see, the inner corner of my eye looks so messed up, but I clean it up a bit. This part doesn't have to be very uh, clean and precise because you're putting shadow over it anyways. And I ended up just taking the inner corners off and then just redid it towards the end of the tutorial with liquid liner because it was a little bit easier. Rockstar from Urban Decay and I'm just going to fill in the shape that we created with the black liner. dark purple eyeshadow and I'm putting that on top of the purple eyeliner that we put on and this color doesn't have a name so I'm not too sure what it's called but it's just like a dark purple.
on D, I'm taking this purple shade, which is called Anthem, and I'm putting that on top of the purple color as well. So with this purple shade, you're going to blend it into that black eyeliner that we did to shape out the eye before, so we don't have any harsh lines and a, just a big black line in the middle. from the same palette I'm taking Destroyer which is a red pink color and I'm just going to put that right over the purple. orange color which is called analog and I'm gonna put that pretty much as like the highlight color just to blend in that red lash line as well as creating that wing liner look. And I definitely went out of focus a couple of times so I had to cut out a bunch of the liner. Sorry about that but yeah it's just what I usually do and then just in the inner corners you just bring it down a bit just to create that cat eye as well. just so it's not like a harsh line at the end. And then I'm going to take my Kat Von D liner in Trooper and just work on that inner corner as well. Then I'm just setting my foundation with my MAC Studio Fix Foundation. Then I'm taking that purple color from e.l.f. again and I'm just going to line my lower lash line. fill in 
my brows on the right side and before I do the left side I'm going to add the scar. taking my next jumbo eye pencil in milk then I'm taking max color in a quarry which is a matte like kind of purple gray color I'm gonna use that color just to outline the scar a bit just to give it a little more dimension Heartbreaker palette, I believe it's called. I'm taking this pink color and I'm just gonna put that on top of that white color. Then I'm gonna fill my other brow around the scar. Chocolate Soleil bronzer from Too Faced and I'm just going to bronze up the face. Then I'm going to take a small brush and I'm just going to use the same bronzer and just contour my nose. And I'm actually going to pull that from the brow down to the tip of my nose. Then I'm taking the same eyeliner I used in the beginning and I'm just using that to line my lips. my Lorac lipstick in Goddess which is like a mauvey purple color and I'm just going to put that on my lips and blend it in with that black. this turned out so if you definitely are thinking of doing scar and don't want to do like the crazy face paint I would definitely try this look can we just say I forgot to do mascara whoops I mean it still looks good let's just add some mascara and see how it comes out with mascara So yeah, 
that's what it looks like with black liner as well. Cannot believe I totally forgot to do mascara and eyeliner. Oh yeah! I really like how this look came out. It's super easy, definitely easier than I thought and this was the first time doing it. I just can't believe I forgot to do liner and mascara. <laughs> Oops! But I mean either way it still looks good so technically you don't. I mean the liner looks better when it's all blacked out but... Oh, it's so funny. <laughs>